Taiwan is on track to become a super-aged society by 2026. Already, some 15 percent of people in Taiwan have degenerative joint disease, according to the Ministry of Health and Welfare. The Industrial Technology Research Institute on Wednesday unveiled a quick one-step procedure for repairing knee cartilage. After 18 years of development, this treatment is now ready for the commercial market. It's a new, minimally invasive cartilage repair treatment that works like this. A small amount of the patient's own cartilage tissue is harvested, processed, and injected into an artificial scaffold. Then this material is implanted into the knee to restore the damaged articular cartilage. First, the cartilage is minced into chips. Then, it is treated with enzymes, with an enzyme wash. From the experimental evidence, it can be seen that after the cartilage chips are treated with enzymes, the chondrocytes inside are released in large quantities. These chondrocytes that are released are used to slowly repair the cartilage damage. This one-step autologous cartilage repair treatment requires just one surgical operation. From start to finish, it takes just 40 minutes. Developed by Etri and National Taiwan University Hospital, this technology has already been transferred to a commercial partner. It's been a very long road of nearly 18 years getting to this point, to getting approval for clinical trials, to obtaining market authorization in April. I think this is a very important milestone for Taiwan's biomedical industry. Uh, the patient doesn't need to go under the knife twice. In addition, I believe that the costs can be brought below other producers on the market. These are the benefits that I think we can deliver to the patient. Using a scaffold loaded with cartilage fragments, this treatment enables tissue regeneration without a string of surgeries. One out of every 6.5 people in Taiwan has joint degeneration, according to government data. With Taiwan set to become a super-aged society by 2026, researchers are racing to develop targeted and more effective therapies for the elderly.